Hey Taurus, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do appreciate it. This is going to be your monthly reading for the month of August, but as always, it could resonate at any time, any day, any week, any year, any month. I am lighting some sage because I forgot to do it before we came on camera here, so I want that lit. Uh, as always, this is for anyone with Taurus placements or anyone else who's guided to watch the Taurus reading. If you're a cross watcher, you might have to flip the energy or the script depending on whether I'm attaching to your energy or your person's energy. Totally up to you to do that. That is not my job. I'm reading for Taurus, okay? Anyway, welcome everybody, whether you're a cross watcher or anyone else, but you got to do your end of it too. Okay, let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, we're ready to receive messages for Taurus. Ah, what do we need to know? Taurus reading for the month of August 2021. What do we need to know? Anyone with Taurus placements or any, and this could resonate at any time. Like I said, it doesn't have to be an August reading for all of you. What do we need to know? If you're guided to the title at a different month, year, date, it doesn't matter. Whoa, that's way too many. Taurus reading, what do we need to know here, please, for anyone with Taurus? Whoa, there we go. Thinker. Okay, what else do we need to know for Taurus? I don't think I've ever had that card before. Fork in the road. Um, Capricorn just had fork in the road. And Yang. Wow, okay. So, we've got Thinker, we've got Fork in the Road, and we've got Yang. All right, so you're being told to stop thinking about it and do, okay? Now, especially if something like the Fork in the Road, something could come up. Like, you got to, like, there's going to be a moment, I feel like, where you're going to need to make a decision and you're going to have to do something. Like, instead of thinking and allowing and being in that yin energy they're telling you you need to get into an actual physical yang energy like the masculine energy of doing rather than allowing and receiving okay all right so let's get into it spirit and angels anyone for the highest good for taurus what do we need to know spirit and angels what do we need to know about this for uh taurus we have thinker fork in the road and yang what's most important here that we should know about this for anyone with taurus placements or anyone else who's guided to watch the taurus reading here on youtube please allow me to connect with as many people as possible and to deliver the mess messages as accurately as possible to the people who need them the most thinker fork in the road yang taurus reading all right let's do it what do we need to know here please about this reading oops that's way too many what do we need to know about the taurus reading one or two at a time five of swords okay now it's weird because um somebody had the seven of swords right there was a capricorn i want to say capricorn and they also had the fork in the road so i think it was them all right what else do we need to know oh come on what else do we need to know for taurus please that's a lot i'm not taking that many just one or two taurus reading so you got the five of swords coming out right out out of the gate here three of cups ace of cups that's nice though what else I love the Ace of Cups in this deck. It's very pretty. It is a Pisces card in this deck as well. What else do we need to know here? We got a challenge of the Knight of Pentacles that came out directly on its side. Yeah, wow, this is so interesting. Okay, so there's something about you. See, there's a new path being lit for you. Spirit has lit a path. And this is your fork in the road right there. Which direction do I go down? And I feel like the direction you're supposed to actually yang take, the one you're supposed to go down and stop thinking about and actually do, is the one being lit up for you by spirit. Okay. So now if there's two choices, you're going to have to make a choice. But they're saying you have to take the control here. You have to be like 
um, like the emperor and take control. Whether you're female or male, doesn't matter. Um, feminine, masculine, doesn't matter because they're asking you to stand in a yang energy here. All right. Um, yeah, because this has to do with the world. This has to do with a brand new cycle that's trying to come in for you. And look at how the hermit has discovered it. Like the hermit goes searching for that path that they should go down. And the hermit like has been enlightened here about the new path. So you're supposed to be taking this, but you're kind of sitting still here with the six of wands reverse. This would be victoriously moving forward, right? This is not moving forward. And we have the high priestess here. And in this deck, the high priestess takes the leap of faith. She just surrenders to it, right? And I almost feel like you're being asked to do that, like to trust your intuition, to go down the path that you know spirit's calling you. You know what path this is you're supposed to take. All right, so you're intuitively being guided down this path. Five of Swords, you could be all up in your head. This could be your head going, I don't know what to do, thinker, all in your head freaking out about what to do. All right, this path will take you, I feel, to love. It might not be today or tomorrow, but I feel like it's going to take you into something positive. Now, if you've been wrapped up in something negative and Spirit's calling you to take another route, it's because something will be waiting for you when you get down that path and you're ready for it. There's going to be something waiting for you. This is really nice energy, actually. And here we have you coming through in that yang energy. I don't care if you're male or female. This is yang energy. This is yang energy of taking and going. Instead of staying stuck in the thinking and not listening to your intuition, Spirit says, go. It's time to do this, right? But let's get more information. We have uh, Witch's Tarot. I'm sorry, this was Gilded Royale, and this was Wisdom of the Oracle, okay? Which is tarot, and let's get to the bottom of it. Uh, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know about this reading, please? It's the Taurus reading. It's for August 2021. What are the most important messages we have for Taurus? Anyone with Taurus placements? August 2021. As always, it could resonate at any time, any week, any day, any month, any year that you're guided to the title or that it shows up in your feed for some reason. It might be meant to be at another time, but I'm intending for it to get out there for August 2021 for anyone with Taurus placements or anyone else who's guided to see it. All right, Thinker, Fork in the Road and Yang, one more shuffle. All right, let's look at the Five of Swords. Why is Five of Swords here? Well, the Death card. So I feel like whatever this monkey mind is you got going on here is coming to an end. Um, because you're being told, stop thinking, it's time for doing, okay? And I think you're going to do that. I think you're going to listen to your intuition and actually take the leap. Tell me about the Three of Cups. What? I swear something else. There it is. There it is. Page of Swords and Karma. All right, Karma is Judgment. This is getting clear and knowing what you need to do in the situation. And again, there's three people here and there's three people here. So keep that in mind. I don't know if you have a situation where you have to choose between people or you have to choose between or if this is not a solitary decision, like if there's other people involved. But there's something about you getting very clear and having like almost like an aha awakening type moment of I know what to do. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. This is beautiful. This Ace of Cups is gorgeous. It really is a beautiful card. Um, it is the card of Pisces. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Pisces, or you could have any of these in your chart. Um, Scorpio, Pisces come through very strongly in this reading. Um, Virgo's here as well. Uh, Leo's here. Um, Taurus is here. I don't really ever see the world as these signs, but I just happen to notice them on the cards, so I'm saying it. Um, and, of course, Taurus is all over this reading. All right. Or you could be dealing with another Earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. 
All right, let's look at the um, Ace of Cups. What do we need to do? This would be a fresh, new, beautiful beginning. Is it love? Maybe. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. What do we need to know? It's happy. I can tell you that much. It's a good new beginning. Ace of Cups. Wow, Seven of Swords reversed. Look at that. Why is the Seven of Swords reversed coming out? Is there secrets about one of these people coming out? There could be secrets because it's a High Priestess in reverse. Is there some kind of secrets coming out about somebody who was doing something shady? It's possible. Some kind of truth and clarity coming out. Let's get a little information on it. Could be a Pisces um, because I see that here several times. Doesn't have to be, of course. Let's talk about Seven of Swords reversed. What do we need to know about it? Okay, where did it go? That wheel tried to come out a minute ago too. When I, as soon as I started shuffling, but I hadn't even asked a question yet, this flipped over in the deck and there it's back again. The wheel in reverse. This could have been you. Um, this could be your own energy, the Seven of Swords, holding yourself back. You've held your cycle back for such a long time and what you've held back was the, all this happiness. So this is you deceiving you, basically. Um, yeah, look. Spirit says, release yourself from this um, monkey mind. This is all being all up in your head, worried about what you can't see. Listen, we all have crap we can't see. We never know what's coming next. We never know what happens when we take a leap of faith. But we do it anyway. The whole world has made their biggest, boldest, best moves in their life by taking these leaps of faith into new beginnings that are gorgeous. But you're freaking out about it. And they're saying, no, get yourself out of this. We want you out of this everywhere. It says that stop. Stop doing this to yourself. This is you doing this to you. All right, let's keep going. Um, tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reversed as a challenge. This is like, I won't move forward no matter what. I'm not moving and you're holding up your whole cycle. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. King of Cups reversed. I want to get another one. Can I get another one on the um, Knight, uh, Knight of Pentacles reversed as a challenge? This is probably you refusing to move into anything that even resembles love or you're just afraid. Like somebody could be coming at you, asking you on a date and you're like freaking out. Um, did that come out? No? Okay. I could swear something landed in my lap, but it didn't. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reverse as a challenge. What do we need to know here, please? With the King of Cups reversed? What? One card, please. Knight of Pentacles reversed as a challenge. Okay, yeah. Listen, you're healing and you're staying single. Absolutely. There's something that's emotionally drained you and now you're afraid. You are so afraid to step into anything new, especially if it has to do with love, because you're staying single and defending yourself and healing from whatever this was. This person is healing with their sword in their hand from the three of swords that got them. Okay. So yeah, you could have dealt with an emotional manipulator. You could have had a very difficult love situation that happened where you felt totally unsuccessful. But you know, the thing is <laughs> the hermit still needs to discover the new path. You still have to go down a new path. We all do. There's no, you know, we can't stay stuck on all this time that, you know, spirits lit this beautiful path up for you. And they're going, look, we know you've been through the shizzle here. Everyone goes through it. We've all been through breakups. We've all been through pain. We've all been through hurt. We've all been through this stuff, but we cannot let it hold us back and we can't let it control our minds. We can't let it happen. And we're lighting a new path for you and we expect you to go down it. Okay, because we don't want you in yin energy anymore. We want you in yang energy. We want you to make big, bold moves. This staying stagnant and doing nothing and healing has gone on for too long the healing's done you are we want you to stand tall in the nine of pentacles now so this is spirit saying look yeah you've been through three of swords you've healed with four of swords now stand tall in that nine of pentacles on your own confident secure knowing you got this 
and go down that path and at the end of that there's going to be a great gift for you for being strong for being bold and for actually doing what we've asked of you because it's all for your benefit all right let's get the path here two of wands what is going on with this two of wands i love my favorite two of wands in any deck i have right there beautiful beautiful that's knowing spirit's got your back this high priestess knowing spirit's got your back just doing it tell me about the two of wands what do we need to know taurus reading two of wands sun reversed okay what else two of wands there you go so you're gonna go from lack of clarity to having the clarity so here's your lack of clarity the sun reverse i don't know what to do i don't know where to go i don't know how to do it and spirit sends you king of swords clarity walk down the path the clarity is there that sort of truth that sort of clarity that light beam shining so bright saying please take the path we're lighting it up for you where you were unclear before, you are now going to get some kind of clarity to go down a specific path. Your fork in the road is going to be lit up for you, but you have to take the yang. You have to get out of your head and go down the, you have to do it. It's just, you're going to, if you want to end a cycle, if you want to start a new cycle, if you want a new beginning, if you want that happiness and joy that comes with that ace of cups, you're going to have to go down the new path. Um, even though you've been very comfortable in your uh, stuckness. King of Pentacles. What do we need to know? King, King of Pentacles. This is very Yang. King of Pentacles. What do we need to know? Taurus reading. Why is the King of Pentacles here? What do we need to know? Absolutely. Absolutely look at this look at it there's your happiness your ten of cups it's right there waiting for you your ten of cups and your ace of cups will be waiting for you when when you go down the new path that's being lit up for you it's that simple i got goosebumps everywhere for this reading this is very very simple spirit is sending you to happiness they're sending you down a path that fork of the road is going to come and something's going to be presented to you and you're going to be expected to do and go. If you do and you go and you take action instead of staying all freaked out in your head, you're going to go right into happiness. Pull up your big girl or big boy panties and do this. Do this. All right. I hope it helps. Let me grab you a couple of after tarot. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. What's next here for anyone that resonates with this reading? Yep. You're going to get a new beginning that's obvious give me another one please could i have one more card on what's next here yeah well okay so i feel like you're going to move away from anything or anyone that wasn't in your highest good i feel like these people might have been all about themselves you might have been with a group of people that really was not in your highest good and i feel like you're going to pull away from them see how we're not engaged with them anymore and see how this person's like gimme give gimme give i want you might have been, and this might be why Spirit's trying to pull you down another path to get away from people who are consumed with themselves. Let me get another card on that. Could I have one card on the Five of Wands and the ten, uh, Nine of Cups? Because both of that, the Five of Wands in this deck is no more battle, right? And this could be no more battle of life for you. You're not going to battle with yourself anymore. And this could be, you know, like I said, this feels to me like you're moving away from, you're going into a new group of people, possibly. Tell me about this Five of Wands and this Nine of Cups. What do we need to know about what's next here? Yeah, absolutely. Look at this. So we have here someone who is leaving behind the past and running towards something else. And that something else is peace. So there is something or someone, there's people or a person. Yeah, you're dumping that out. You're done with these people. There's something about the people that you were surrounded with that were not in your highest good, which is why spirit has lit this path. This seven of swords or seven of swords right there could have been other people that you discovered that weren't in your highest good 
Anyway, guys, you're and same thing with the five of swords, right? But we got to get you out of your head thinker and and with all these swords here stop dwelling on them leave them behind spirit says dump out the cup for them and move along because there's something better you're going to run to that's going to take you into four of wands ace of wands and you're going to be leave behind anybody who wasn't in your highest good truth be told ace of swords so and that's the truth hold on one sec guys i gotta plug in Okay, so sorry. Battery was dying on the computer. All right, let's get you a couple angel cards and I'll let you go. Angels, let us know what we need. What, is, what do we need to know about this reading for Taurus? What do we need to know for anyone who has resonated with this reading? What do they need to know? Yeah, absolutely. I see it right there. Integrity, honesty. You want to you want to hang out with people who are honest and have a lot of integrity, and that's what spirit's guiding you towards. And they're saying surrender to this, because whoever these people were were not integritous. They were not honest, and spirit wants you to be around people who are honest and have high integrity. Taurus, let me know about this reading. It came with a big message for you to stop thinking and start doing and this doing involves a whole new path and spirit is lighting it up in every which way they can sending you the clarity to go down this path and they're saying just do it trust us trust the universe trust your intuition and do it you already know you're supposed to do this it's going to take you into a brand new cycle that you are just going to love i'm serious you're going to love this new cycle but you're going to have to take action all right okay guys let me know about this let me comment down below let me know if you feel like it was your reading if you feel like you are being guided towards this new path this new beautiful cycle that could come in for you um please like share subscribe and if um you guys need a personal reading please comment i mean please um reach out to me by email my information is directly beneath this video in the description area. You should see the price of the readings, my email, you should see my PayPal link. You should see all kinds of information down there. If you're not seeing it, there's something on your screen you have to tap on. Each device is different. So look for that. It's directly beneath this video. Okay. All right, guys, have a great month. I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. Okay. Bye-bye.